Logic stuff. Have you heard about this? I have very okay. briefly. Yeah. Matt, you want to do this logic? Stuff? I'm happy to give yeah, a friend. Yeah. Is this the one where you can be as many as you can? Take care. Hi, I'm Matt. Eric. Yep, Eric. Nice to meet you, Eric. Hi, how are you, sir? Nice to meet you. I'm fantastic. So, um, we uh, we introduced our Sandy Bridge this week. Um, the reviews came out, and one of the things that, uh, not surprisingly, on the P67 motherboard, people were disappointed that QuickSync is such a great feature. If you put a discrete graphics card in there, the QuickSync gets disabled, and right, everybody's exactly. disappointed. So we agree, it's an awesome feature. It's very disappointing to have it disabled, and what we're going to show here is Lucid Logics now has a software solution okay. that overcomes that limitation. So we have a P67 based motherboard here. We have a GTX 480 card installed. The GTX 480 card is running this DirectX 11, rendering those scenes. So, and the, the GPU virtualization by Lucid Logics is installed, and that allows us now to do video encodes and take advantage of the Intel QuickSync while you're using the GPU to even to run a DirectX 11 game. So what we've got here is Media Espresso Media Convert. Yeah, the media converter, and uh, we're going to take a 1080i input video and get that prepared to download to an iPhone 3GS. Mm -hmm. Using this nice little consumer application, we'll pick uh, Apple as the output device, iPhone 3GS, we've got our hardware acceleration enabled. So we click on OK there. We will overwrite the file because I do this every day. <laughs> 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 and uh, so you can watch the CPU utilization here. We're still very low CPU utilization, even though we've got this running plus the video transcode going. Mm -hmm. and there it goes. It's the only thing I don't like about Media Show Express. So it'll show a big number at first, and then it just starts shrinking. <laughs> Kind of like file copy in Windows? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How long was that video? Three it's a three minute, three forty five seconds. Okay. It's 400 megabytes. Yeah, yep, look at that. And it's going to transcode it down to about, I think, 45 megabytes. Yep. And the utilization. Uh, 28, 24. 24. I think the highest I've seen was 33. Yeah, 30 percent. So 400 megs down to 50. And 44 yeah. seconds. Something's going on funky here. Um, I wonder if somebody changed one of my settings because um, that's been converting it in about 18 to 19 seconds. It took 44 here. Mm -hmm. So let me just check the settings. See oh, if right. Yeah. Change. No, do no, it again. 44, actually, 44 that's still seconds. Good. still good. Yeah, that's still good. <laughs> it's still okay, but it's not yeah. 18. It's not the no, best. Uh, I, agree, yeah. I know it's not 18, but it's still good. Now, we it's still were smoking. You know? Yeah, exactly. We were curious. Um, so 3GS Smart Fit. Mm -hmm. That's that's what I've been using. We got our hardware. I'm gonna try it one more time and see if that was just an outlier. If not, I'm gonna reboot the system. Yeah. Um, yeah. We, we also got to run here. Oh, there you go. So, yeah. There it goes. The little icons up now. Okay. Yeah. I wonder. Maybe just missed this. Um, we also tested it without this running, uh, just the video transcode on the GTX 480 with CUDA enabled. And we found that if you do the CUDA, it was about a minute, eight seconds to do the transcode. Excellent. And what do we take, 17, 17 okay, seconds? 17 seconds. You know, transcode is just a killer app for sandwich. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, I agree with you. Yeah. I agree with you. Um, so this, you know the Lucid Logics people? Kim Stowe. You can talk to them. Um, they have something in the Mirage, I think, so mm -hmm. check them out. And they're talking about this available even in Q1. Nice. Wow. So, Excellent. Awesome. Cool.